Hello my lovelies, Sophia here and welcome to another Pick a Card reading. So today's reading is Why is the person you miss silent? Okay, it can be a love interest, it can be an ex, it can be a friend, a family member, anybody that you miss and they are giving you the silent treatment, then we'll have a look at why. Okay, what's going on with them as to why they are keeping away from you okay why they're not contacting you okay so first of all please remember this is a general reading okay it's not personal it's very general so if it doesn't resonate with you then you know take what you can or else leave what you can <clears throat> if you do want to have a private reading then all my details are below in the description box I shall also put the timestamps to each pile um, or number in the description box below as well for you Okay, so just relax, think of the person that you miss, and then choose a number. Thank you. Okay, for those of you who chose pile number one. Okay, I'm gonna try and put the ticket somewhere because I haven't got much room. And, oh. And, um, as I lay these out, it's gonna be different to how I normally do it. So, uh, I might run out of room. So let me try and lay these down. Okay, so why is the person you miss not contacted you? I'm gonna have to lose that number one because it's gonna get buried. I'm gonna have to overlap these as well, but I will clear them out of the way as and when we go through the reading. Okay, I'm going to put that one that way for a minute. I'll put it over there a minute, I'll bring it back in. Right, so why has the person you miss gone silent? Right, I feel first of all that they are being very stubborn. And I'm getting the Queen of Swords energy here. So, it doesn't mean that they're female. If you're you know inquiring about a female or a male then I feel that they're just taking on the Queen of Swords energy here and I feel that they are being very stubborn now the Queen of Swords usually she doesn't take any crap you know she will cut things out of her life that don't serve her anymore they you know, like the King of Swords, they'll say the truth and that. But on this card, I just feel that they are being very, you know, I'm drawn to this mm -mm cross. I'm just not talking to you. I'm, I'm just, they are miffed about something, okay? Something happened between you where they are feeling that they, that they haven't, don't want to contact you at the moment, okay? That's why they've been silent. They have no intentions of contacting you at the moment because of their pride as well I got through then okay but they have been spending time thinking about it so you haven't gone from their thoughts it's just that sorry I had them out of the camera then um it's just that at first they were stubborn mm -mm, that's it end of I'm not talking to you something happened okay between you you know what happened okay um, but now they're starting to have a think. They've spent time on their own here, okay? They've had a thought, been thinking about it, they've re-energized, okay? And I do feel that they are still thinking about you here. Um, you know, the, the cup over here is all glowing and sparkling. So I've, you know, the the, the friendship, the love, or whatever it is, whoever the person that you're missing, they still think about you. Right. Okay, and again, from these three cards, I feel that for some of them, they might have gone off, you know, they may have been traveling, they may have been off in pursuit of work somewhere else, but I do feel that they are now, you are very much still in their thoughts, okay? You may not have been when this happened at first. It may have been a, 
you know, I, I don't care, I'm not talking to them, that's it, we're over. But as time has gone on, because I feel that this has been not recent, it's been going on for a couple of, you know, weeks, months, maybe years, they are now starting to think about you. Okay. Which is good. All right, let's have a look at these ones. Okay, it's been a battle for both of you, okay? For both of you. And I do get this work card again, and I do get this travel. So I feel that definitely work or travel was an issue here between whoever, you know, for those of you who chose this pile. If it resonates with you, it's not gonna apply to everybody. Not everybody broke up or misses this person or they've gone silent because of work or travel. It could be that they are now, you know, this these two cards don't have to be travel and work. It could be that now they are working and putting the work into thinking, you know, you're in their thoughts, they're working a way out of how to contact you. Do they contact you? How will you be if they did? Are they gonna get it thrown back in their face? Are you gonna say you can jog on, um, you know, for what you put me through? So a lot of sort of thinking there as well. It doesn't have to just be with work or travel. And again, the Four of Cups, like we had on the Four of Cups here, but on the Four of Cups, they're both different pictures, okay? This one is being offered something by the universe, okay? But this one, it's still all nice and bright, the love that's there, but she's hiding away from that. It's almost like this stag, I don't know if, you, if the lens will pick it up. This little stag here is like, where are you? Like she's hiding. But the wise owl is there in the tree, making them think, okay, use their thoughts. So I feel from this one and the magician and the page of pentacles that they are at a point where they are seriously thinking about getting back in touch with you they're thinking about what you both had the friendship the love you know whichever friend or person that you're missing whatever relationship you had with them some of you may have been manifesting this <clears throat> excuse me some of them may have been manifesting this now or be manifesting it but with the page of pentacles i do feel that it is they're only sort of thinking small at the moment they're not, it's not imminent with them still because I'm still getting a stalemate situation and feeling as if you will reject them here, okay? But I do feel, and, and the angel card that you had is reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. So yes, I do feel that they will come back into your life. It is just that they have, still some issues to deal with okay but a lot of it I feel is more them thinking how will you take things okay some of you obviously if you're watching this video you want to hear from them but they don't know that okay they they're still thinking about sort of the early days when it finished okay when that connection was lost or the friendship was broken but they are definitely thinking about you. They are wanting to start to come forward to you. And there is the reconciliation card here. Okay. So positive thoughts sent out to them as well. What we attract, you know, what we think about is what we attract. So if you're thinking negatively about it, then it will keep them away longer. But if you're thinking positive all the time, then that will draw them closer. Okay, thank you for listening, part number one. Please check out my other videos. You've got your monthly star sign readings and also other pick a card readings that may help you if this one hasn't. Okay, thank you. Hello, those of you who chose part number two. Okay, I'm gonna move that one out of the way and we're gonna have a look as I put some cards down for you. Haven't got much space, so they will overlap, yeah. And we'll see why the person that you're thinking about, who you miss, is silent. I'm going to put that angel card over there. 
Right. Now I feel that they left pretty quickly out of your life. Okay, there was a sudden turn of events or something happened where they left pretty quickly and you were left like, what what happened then? Okay. Um, but I feel that they are now, you're not only missing them, but they are missing you. Okay. It's like I feel that you are, from from what I'm feeling from this, and I don't normally see this on this card, but it's like this rock figure here is them thinking about you this is you thinking about them but you're not she's looking sort of past as if you're, you're separated obviously because you haven't heard from them so you are but your thoughts are connected you are starting to think you know you are still thinking about each other and I feel from this with the blossom and that that it is now that this has started to get a stronger feeling between you both Okay, I know that there's blossom on the trees where I am starting to come out and, and what are we in end of March, beginning of April. So I feel that the connection now is getting stronger. And from these cards, I feel that they are definitely weighing things up as to whether it would work. Do they won't want to work on it? Will it work? It may be a work issue that is why they're not with you. You know, they may be working away somewhere. That might be the separation or they might be, you know, engrossed in work, throwing themselves into work. But there is the good luck card here. So I do feel that they are definitely getting back into this connection with you. They are definitely feeling them that they want to get in touch. Now then, there may have been, I'm getting from these cards that they left, okay, male or female, doesn't have to be male because it's the Knight of Pentacles. Um, it may be that there was a mother figure or a wife or an older female relative, I feel. I'm feeling it's definitely female who interfered in this as well. And funnily enough, the angel card is healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Doesn't have to just be your parents, but healing family issues, okay? So I feel that the stalemate situation or not facing up to the truths could have been because of this female. And it's usually when I see this card, it is a mother figure. Maybe a nan, maybe a gran, I don't know. But there there was an issue here with a family member or a friend, maybe a friend of yours who interfered. But events are coming where they do want to talk to you. Okay, they are coming in. If things are fated, they do want to talk to you and they're going to come in and offer you. They, they, they want to offer you more security, more lasting friendship. Okay, still got a little bit of their pride here with the peacock, you know, prior, prior, bleh, proud as a peacock. So I do feel that they are still not 100% there, but it's definitely, or I feel that it is coming in. It's, it won't resonate with all of you, but it will for some of you. And I've got the world here and the Queen of Cups. But to be honest, on this card, Although it's what you want and it's what they want, I feel that you may reject them at the last minute. You may have a change of mind. Or you may be so stubborn that you give them a negative answer, like, where have you been? What's your problem? Or about time you called? Or, oh, look what the cat dragged in? That sort of thing, that it may push them away. So what I feel from this is that my guides are saying, okay, if they do return, it's what some of you have been hoping for. You wouldn't be watching the video, okay? If you don't want them to return, then reject them because that's fine, they're gonna go. But if you want them to stay, then don't go in with this, now, oh, look what the cat dragged in attitude, okay? Nice of you to show up. You don't realise how much you've hurt me, but you don't worry about that. Just nice of you to finally call. Okay, just 
don't play it that way because I feel that they will be, well, sod you then, I'm off again, if that's how you want to play. If you want to reconcile it, then see what they have to say first before you jump down their throat and rip their head off. Okay, but I do feel that there's some kind of family issue with this one that happened, but you will know what I mean by that. Okay, pile number two, I hope that helps because I do feel that they are coming back. It's how you react. Um, there are other pick a card readings that may give you more insight if this one hasn't and also your monthly star signs. Okay, number twos, thank you for watching. Okay, my lovelies, for those of you who chose number three, let's look at the reason why your person is being quiet. Okay, now these will overlap a bit because I haven't got much room, but I will peek, peek, I will pick up each pile as we go along. And go through them all. Okay. There's the Romance Angel card, but I'm gonna pop it up there in a moment because it's not fitting very well. Okay, so let me take these first three. Okay, now looking at this pile, I feel that there could be a third party involvement here. Doesn't have to be, but I am getting that. So we'll go through and explain why I'm getting that as well. Okay, so I, I have the family card here. And that's what makes me feel, and the Three of Swords, that they are with somebody else. There was this moving on, okay, whether they moved area, if they weren't with somebody else, or whether they were with somebody else, but there is movement here, okay, so they could have moved away out of the area. But I feel there was a lot of passion between you, or it was a good friendship if it wasn't a love interest, okay, it was a good friend. Um, friendship or connection between you and despite this one being the family card I'm feeling that you were very happy together okay and I feel again that there was a marriage here although they think about you they have responsibilities and maybe children they have financial responsibilities if they are with somebody else they have responsibilities if they've got children they've got responsibilities so I feel that for this pile if it doesn't resonate then this pile is not for you because I am feeling that it is very much a third party situation here Okay, and I feel, you know, it's not a third party because of work, that's a third party, it's because of somebody else. Okay, and I feel that they are married or they've been in a relationship for a long time with this person. So although there was a lot of passion between you and they think about you, they are, it's not easy for them to come forward again okay that's why they've been quiet now it may be because they know the intense passion between you um and if they got in touch with you again then that would be something that they couldn't resist at this point in time okay that would be difficult for them at this point in time okay so that's why they're keeping away um I got through something else then as well. If, if say, the person that they're with found out about you and that's why, then they are scared of the repercussions of them finding out again because they're not going to take it lightly. You know, they're not going to say, oh, you've been in touch with them again? Oh, that's all right. I knew you always loved them. They're, there's going to be hell to pay, okay? So they're sort of on that, um, yes, I want to get in touch, but if I do, there are going to be so many implicate. you know, uh, Con uh, not even consequences there's going to be such a chain reaction here okay so it's not because they don't want to but they know 
the connection you had you know the the angel card is soulmate yes this is your soulmate so they know the passion and they know the attraction it's just that they have these other responsibilities now I do have lots, you know, not lots, but I do have other pick a card readings that are no contact and third party situations. So you may want to check them out if this one isn't resonating or you want to perhaps know a bit more than this one is that they're giving me for this one. OK, <clears throat> and again, here I have that if they came back to you, then the sorrow and the pain that it will cause will have a massive financial implication on them. For others, I feel that they will have the courage to break away from the third party situation and that they have been thinking of a way to sort things out financially and have a bit for themselves to bring to you, okay? I was getting through, you know, for some, uh, those two different cases very, very strongly. And they are two very different cases, okay? But it can go either way. Not very helpful, I know, but I can only bring through what they're giving me. Like I say, please check out the other videos. They may pinpoint things a bit more for you. Um, it's like they are coming out of this cloud with the Ace of Wands, it's new beginnings, they've got all the dark cloud around the house, the home. Okay, so they're coming out of this into the sunshine and they're blossoming more. They are definitely thinking about it. They may have been watching you on social media. They may have been keeping their ears to the ground through friends. Okay, but I feel that they have been watching you. And again, the Seven of Pentacles here, both very different um, pictures on them, but it's the fruits of your of their labor, okay? Their their what they've been thinking, their finances, okay? So I do feel for some of you there is this movement. For others, they can't make this movement because of the the situation they're in. Doesn't mean they never will. It just at this point in time that you're watching this video. Whenever you're watching this video, I feel, you know, if it's in a year's time for whoever's watching it in a year's time, it will still apply. Okay, it's timeless. Okay, but I do have, and if we bring back in the angel card here, that they are, their emotions are going to get the better of them, they told me then. Okay, because you are this soulmate connection. They want to be with you. Okay, they're almost this woman hit at the bottom of this cup is um, clinging on to this emotions, okay? They don't want to lose you. So I feel that they will be back in touch. Like I say, for others, I don't feel they can. Even if they wanted to, then I don't feel that they can at this point in time. But for others of you, there is this shift in the middle. It's 50-50 on their circumstances, okay? But for some of you, yes, they will come back into your life and you will back, hear back from them. Okay, my number threes, there are other pick a card readings if they can give you more information and also your monthly star signs. Thank you for watching. Take care.